Hi everybody, I'm Michael and I'm playing Miss Clue, Christmas at Donner Pass. I'm trying to solve this challenge, which is not, not a very good challenge. <laughs> we need to go through this maze in the dark. Alrighty, so it seems to be that we go right and then take dark. the second right. And, uh oh, when it gets dark, I think you need to press the plus button on your lamp. Oh, but, but sometimes the game just says you're dead and doesn't give you that opportunity. Let's try that again. I do believe the, the fastest way to get through is this gameplay mode. It seems so dark. Gameplay mode number three. Oh, there we go. Got caught in the dark again. So there's some sort of dark trap there. So let me go here. Try to go here in gameplay mode number three. Now I'm switching to number one. So I can press... Press my lantern button. Keep it well lit. Hey, it kind of worked for a second there. Good, and now I'm switching back to gameplay mode number three. Seems the darkness is creeping in on us. You can move quickly in this mode because uh, if you've got cap locks, caps lock on, you go quickly. Another thing you use to go quickly is... Oh, hell yeah, we found the stairs. Uh, the forward button. So you can control yourself with the forward button and WASD. So if you use both of those at the same time, the game accepts it as you going twice as fast. Like this. <laughs> I don't know if Run, that was obvious. Give us the little girl and you can go free. I can't see. Nancy, remember to stay close. I wish we had stayed in my room. I it wish so we could bad. see we things in this game. No one escapes us. <laughs> So I guess when we go downstairs, we go all the way forward so. and then left is the idea. I guess maybe memorizing the route is what you have to do. Will this darkness never end? Never, ever. The darkness is with mankind. Just be quiet, shadows. Nobody cares what you have to say. Oh, man, here we've got a maze. That looks like a, a left-hand turn. Left-hand fork, and we've got a bunch of doors, which we can't go through. That also looks like that left-hand, like, twist. Here we go. No, wait, that's where we were. Did I somehow turn back in on myself? <coughs> like, maybe I'm supposed to go here. No, that left-hand twist leads nowhere. So I somehow got myself turned around. Okay, trying my best. I hope we have enough light to get out of here. I hope you so will too, never kid. Leave. We are your constant companions now. Here we go, is this it? Here, give this to Mum. She might need it. I think we solved it! Just stare at the painting. What will that do? Just stare. How do you know staring at the painting does something? What? Okay, well, somehow we did it. Great. It, it took me, like, 20 minutes of playing, if you include the two previous videos. Because I, I, I did that challenge for, like, 15 minutes across the past two videos. Okay, so here we are. With Mom. She's playing piano. Can 
we interrupt, maybe? I don't want to be mean, but I do want to tell her, hey, I saved your daughter. Mom. Hi, Mom. Mom? Maybe I'll get close. You're back. How did you get here? So much has happened since I last saw you. I don't know where to start. I don't... I love how when I get close to her and I can see she's not playing piano, suddenly the game moves us to the side so so we can pretend she still is playing piano. That's silly. Another thing that might help with the maze is uh, turning the graphics to the lowest form of normal. Yeah, yeah, so that makes them load a little bit faster, which should make you go through that maze a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker, because the game is spending less time loading the various walls. Although you saw, it was still kind of jumpy moving through that area, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I don't know how much time we have, but I have seen your husband who is trapped in the basement as you are trapped here. That is at least news. You can't imagine all the thoughts that have crossed my mind over the years. He agrees with you. He also thinks your family is trapped in the painting created by Mr. Von Blut. Have you seen my daughter again? Yes. I believe she is now out of the painting. That is excellent news. But there is more that I don't know than I do. The only way out is to face what lies beyond that door. It seems that Von Blut encapsulated each of your worst fears into the painting. I can attest to that. I am afraid in my case that I am forever condemned to remain here. I have seen what lies beyond that door and we could never survive what awaits. Your husband tells me your greatest fear is drowning. Do you know what might have happened to cause this fear? I believe it started when I was a little girl and we were at my aunt's camp in Maine. My sister and I had walked down to the lake and I ran out to the end of the dock. My sister was looking at something on the shore when I slipped on something wet and fell in. All I remember was the water closing in around me, suffocating me. It was cold, so very cold. I couldn't scream, and I could feel all the sunfish biting my toes and my ankles and my legs. I could just see my sister looking down at me from the dock, frantically trying to reach me. Then I don't remember much until I woke up later in the camp. Ever since then, I've been terrified of drowning and monsters in the sea. Yes, an experience like that could definitely leave a mental scar that would be hard to overcome. Still. I believe we can make it together, but you have to choose between your fear and your family. Okay, I have to say, how are we going to escape that? Her fear is being underwater. It's not like, oh no. It's not like the shadows where we have a shadow maze. We can't have an underwater drowning maze. That would be terrifying. The shadows were bad enough. But swimming underwater? I, I don't think I could handle that, especially if there was a sea monster attacking me. Sorry, I just wanted to say that. Let's get back to the game. If you lead, I will follow. But if things go badly, save yourself. I couldn't live with your fate on my conscience. What happens when we leave this room? Stand on the threshold, but go no further. Oh, we're gonna see it? Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to see this. Yeah. Interesting. Oh wait, it looks like we're at the surface of the water. It's not like we're inside water, right? Right? We just need to swim? We just need to swim. I, I guess that's not so bad. We can float, right? Have you ever tried actually stepping through the doorway? No. Why would I? I can't swim. But if I could swim, where would I go? I have an idea. Let's step through together and see what happens. Something of a leap of faith. I am with you. Okay, so we're gonna do the darkness maze, but swimming. Let's go now. Let's see. Are we gonna turn into mermaids and swim across the sea? Oh! Okay, that was scary. I think we just jumped down into the water. And we're loading something. Something's loading. We're not done with this challenge. No, we've only just begun. Oh, well, we we're in a rowboat. This. What? Where are we? I can't even see the doorway. There's no going back. It looks like we can at least row. But where do we go? 
I have rowed a little when I was a child, but I was always afraid of drowning. If we just had some idea where we were. What was that? It sounded... Yeah, we're in a rowboat, so we're, we're pretty safe. I guess maybe Jane can bring a compass with her next time. Something of Captain Jack's, maybe? You know, that, that would help us. Fish, very Unless we're being attacked by a giant sea monster right now. There it is again. It sounds like it's coming from behind us. I think you're right. Unless you want to trade places, I think you'd better try rowing. I'll do my best. Uh, Augusta, this isn't safe. You're doing very well, but I think we are being overtaken. Could you maybe help row, Jane? Maybe? Like you take one paddle, she takes the other, and you both work together? Do something. You can't outrow it. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my harpoon to destroy this monster. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's my guess, anyway.